Coming up on WSRH Sports, we find out how our girls' softball team bounced back last night from losing to Park Vista by crushing the Glades Day Warriors. Plus, we find out how our boys' baseball team took down Somerset Academy in a fierce matchup. WSRH Sports starts now. Welcome to WSRH Sports, your leading source for sports coverage here at The Ridge. I'm Savannah Mazio. And I'm Shayla Stowagen. Today is Friday, April 5th. We got a lot to tell you about today, but first, today's top story. Over spring break, our Seminole Ridge TV Production Academy competed at STN in California, while their TV production student, Reagan Bresenhan, got fourth place in commentary, and our Academy got three Broadcast Excellent Awards for Tape Daily Show, Extra Show, and our very own sports show. Thank you to the Student Television Network for these distinguished awards. Just last night, our girls softball team went head-to-head -head with the Glade Today Gators in a fierce matchup. WSRH sports reporter Austin LaManna has the play-by-play. -play. Our softball team is playing against the Glade Today Gators. This was a big game for the Lady Hawks as they lost to Park Vista 4-8 last Tuesday. So, were the Hawks able to redeem themselves? Let's break it down. We haven't played them in a few years, so we're excited to see them. We're happy to have them come out here. Um, I know that Glades Day has some younger girls, so uh, it'll give us an opportunity to get some of our younger girls in as well and see what we've got. Starting off for the Hawks, Maya Morrow hits the ball, allowing her to make it to first base and for Grace Ron to make her first run of the night. However, after Chloe Coffey hit the ball and was running the first, she got out by right fielder Carla Brown when she caught the ball. However, the Hawks kept fighting strong, with Samantha Shelby getting her moment to shine as she got to play, hitting the ball and allowing Brooke Bond and Isabella Martinez to make two more runs. After this, the Gators kept the fight on, with Armini Powell hitting the ball, allowing her to make it to first base, and allowing for Riley Balthazar to make a run. After this, though, the Hawks kept the fight on, with Yasmin Gonzalez hitting the ball down left field, allowing her to run and make it to first base, and for Cameron Morrow, her sister Maya Morrow, and Chloe Coffey to make runs for the Hawks. And in the last play of the game, Yasmin Gonzalez made the first and only home run for the Hawks, winning the game. Um, it felt really good to hit that home run and finish the game for my team. While this was a special game for the Hawks, it was even more special for Adriana Gonzalez, who got to be the pitcher for the first time tonight. It felt really good to pitch a whole game. And I think we did really good. In the end, the Hawks crushed the Gators 17 to 1. For WSRH Sports, I'm Austin LaManna. Last week, our baseball team went against the Atlantic Eagles in a high stakes showdown. Were the Hawks able to take down the Eagles? Let's go to the play by play where I break it down. Tonight, Thursday, the Seminole Ridge baseball team at home is playing Atlantic High School. Let's swing right into it. The Hawks' record is 7 and 9, while the Atlantic Eagles are 0 to 11. Let's see if the Ridge can continue their winning streak. Starting off, number three, Case Griffin, hits a double towards the left field. Number 23, Jonathan Halloran, hits a fly ball, bringing number 13, Mikey Donalds, home scoring for the Ridge. Number 14, Chase Gray, makes it to first base then was able to steal all the way to third base and was safe. The Atlantic Eagles were not giving up as the Hawks were pulling a big lead. But starting pitcher Jaden Walton struck out 11 batters and allowed zero runs over five innings. With that, the Hawks took home a win, 12-0. For WSH Sports, I'm Shayla Stillwagon. Last Monday, our baseball team faced off against Somerset Academy. Were the Hawks able to take down the Cougars? Well, sports reporter Carlos Suarez has the play-by-play. -play. This Monday, the Seminole Ridge Hawks faced off against the Somerset Canyon Cougars in a heated battle. The Hawks hope to continue their winning streak as they have won their last four games in a row. In the first inning, the pitcher for the Cougars threw a wild pitch allowing for senior Antonio Aguilar to steal home base. Moving into the next inning, the Hawks are up by three as Case Griffin hits a shot to the outfield, recording his only RBI of the game. The Hawks continued this momentum as junior Chase Gray bunts the ball and makes it to first base safely. 
The Hawks were able to control this game as they stole second base, sealing the deal against the Somerset Canyon Cougars. The final score ended up being 14-4 with the Hawks on top and extending their winning streak to five in a row. For WSRE Sports, I'm Carlos Suarez. Last week, our boys baseball team faced off against Wellington in a ferocious matchup. WSRE Sports reporter Will Claude has the highlights. Sports. We have Monday, boys baseball will be taking on Forest Hill at home at 6 p.m. Tuesday, softball will be taking on Palm Beach Central at 6.30 at home. Wednesday, boys volleyball will be taking on Treasure Coast at home at 4.30 p.m. Thursday, boys volleyball will be taking on Dwyer at 7 p.m. Friday, softball will be taking on Oxbridge Academy at 6.30 p.m. at home. Good, Good luck, Hawks. Hawks. Well, that's it for WSRH Sports. I'm Shayla Stowagen. And I'm Savannah Mazio. Remember that you can follow us on social media on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Seminole Rich TV. Have a great day, Hawks.